um, a friend of mine is famous for saying that nothing is more real than real. And while these explosion elements, this, the, the sprite voxels and, and such, they make sort of a nice filler volume, in and of themselves, they don't necessarily make a really awesome explosion. And the fact of the matter is, if you really want like an awesome, awesome-looking explosion, there's nothing better than getting uh, recorded footage, a live playhead, and uh. activate that in my hypervoxels panel. There you can see it right there appearing. And it's going to be a sprite. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead right now. I have already have the the uh, settings saved. I'm going to go ahead and just load those and then we'll talk about what's going on with them because that'll save us a little bit of time. So I was supposed to have it loaded. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to I'll bring it up in the uh, the next pass. Okay. So, I actually named it in this this uh, particular scene. It's called Expo Live Sequence, and. pull it up, and I'll tell you what's going to happen when we pull it up. You're going to see, well, probably nothing, I'm guessing. And there's a reason for that. Uh, you may find that when you load sequences in, you're going to have to go into your image editor, and you're going to have to refresh them all the way through in order to see them in Viper. Or if you're running 10, you may just use the VPR preview, and you won't even have to worry about it. But now let's see what we have. There we go. So now you I'm going to go ahead and save that. Voxel setting. And it's a good idea when you find settings that you like, save them. So that you can go back and use them again and again, especially if you've got something else uh, that you're going to use it on. One other thing I want to talk about as far as all of these settings, because these are all pyro, because they're all generating their own um, generating their own light, you'll notice that none of them are actually using any lights in the scene. They all are self-illuminating. The nice thing about that is no matter what scene you're in, you're always going to have the right light values for your explosion, and you, you don't have to worry about you know differing light settings. So anyway, I have my, my live explosion sequence here. And there it is. And when added in to all the other explosions, all the other explosion elements, you get a very robust effect. So now we've got that really big explosion, that live plate explosion that's adding it in. And we're looking at this just just with the, the objects. We're not looking at it rendered with, uh, you know, with the spaceship in there or anything like that. This is just the Viper preview. So now we have... Uh, Colored, the slightly colored sparks, the, the more colored uh, uh, sprite voxel to go in with the live plate. We've got the fire trails. And we have a lot more interesting stuff going on with our explosion. And now we've got enough stuff that we can actually go ahead and render this.